Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial on Java programming. So in the previous tutorial, we have learned, you know, what is a variable and what is a data type. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create and use the variables in your program. So let's get started. I have already created a class called programming in my program and uh, we have the main method. You know, if you guys don't know about all these things, just watch my video tutorial on writing the first program on Java. And here inside this main method, we're going to create the variables. So first of all, how to create a variable in Java. As I told you in a previous tutorial, you know, a variable is a name given to the memory location and the type of data stored in that memory location is called the data type. So if you want to create a variable in your program, first you need to specify the type of data that you're going to store in the variable or you know in the memory represented by that variable name so here let's say we want to store an integer data so to declare a variable which can store the integer data first we need to write the data type you know which is going to be int now i'm going to use int because you know i can store large values so otherwise you know you guys can use byte or short or long so int is enough for me and then we need to give the variable name so here let's say we want to store my age and let's call it as age you know the descriptive name so when you see this you're gonna come to know that okay this variable is gonna store the age then add the semicolon that's it now you have declared a variable in your program and also in Java you can't use a variable before declaring it so declaration is a must so when you declare a variable you know this variable is going to contain some garbage values so you know any values we can't say what is going to contain some garbage values but you can assign some particular values to this variable so this is about declaring a variable the next thing is assigning some values to the declared variable so here what we can do is we can assign the values to a variable when declaring it or we can assign a value to a variable after declaring it so i'm going to show you both the things so if you want to assign a value to a variable after declaring it then we're going to write age you know the variable name then we're going to use the assignment operator you know which is used to assign the values and then we need to enter the value let's say 24 my age is 24 and then add the semicolon that's it now our age variable is going to contain a value of 24 and if you want to print out the value stored in this age variable then now we're going to use the system dot out dot print line so it's going to be system dot out dot print line and then we need to use this variable name here it's gonna be age that's it now if i run this program it's gonna print out 24 just gonna click on this run button and uh, yes and let me bring it in you guys can see here we get 24 in the bottom so if i change the value let's say 400 and if I run it and they're gonna get 400 so the next thing that I want you guys to teach you is you know defining or you know assigning value to a variable when declaring it so here this int age is gonna declare a variable then I'm gonna use the assignment operator and then the value let's say 24 that's it save it build and run it you're gonna get 24 now if you want to declare multiple variables let's say you want to declare uh, Two variables which are going to contain the uh, integer values so here we have a variable called age now which is going to contain a value of 24 and uh, and let's say we want to declare a variable called marks and we can do that in one line so what we can do is we can separate them by a comma so here int age comma marks so we have two variables to work with now age and marks so similarly you know you can uh, assign the values to these variables after declaring it or uh, you know while declaring it for example let's say age equal to 24 and marks equal to 35 i miss the equal to symbol and that's it now uh, we can refer to the marks also so i just gonna copy this and paste in the next line and i'm gonna change this one to marks i'm gonna save this and i'm gonna run it you guys can see 
24 and 35 so this is how you guys can create a integer variable similarly you guys can create the um, character variables let's say char and let's say sex and you can initialize it while declaring it or you know you can do that later so i'm just gonna do it here and uh, when initializing the character variables make sure that you use these single quotes and between that single quotes you need to write the value you know the character value that you want to save and then we're gonna refer to the uh, sex here you know i'm just gonna print out the value stored in that sex variable and if i run it you guys can see i get m and similarly if you want to uh, declare a variable you know, which can store the floating point numbers you guys can do that so i'm just gonna use double you know if you want to use a float you guys can use it so let's say average and i'm gonna initialize that right here let's say 22.54 you know any other values and we're just gonna print that out it's gonna be system dot out dot print line and i'm just gonna refer the variable name it's gonna be average so i'm gonna save this and i'm gonna run this and you guys can see 22.54 so the next thing that i want you guys to teach you is you know how to create a variable you know which can store the boolean values so to create a variable which can store the boolean values we need to use the keyword boolean and then the variable name let's say are you married quite a long name but you know it can be used so let's say i'm not married yet, so it's gonna be false and uh, i'm gonna refer that here so i'm gonna copy this i don't want to type it again i'm just gonna paste it here and save it and i'm gonna run it and you guys can see false i'm not married yet. so if you want you guys can change this one to true and save it build and run it you guys can see we get true all right the next thing that i want you guys to teach you is you know when you create the variables of the same type at that time you can uh, you know uh, declare them in one line for example you know if we were uh, creating another boolean variable here we can write using the comma operator and the variable name let's say um, is it true you know any variable name but here you can't create a variable you know which can uh, store an integer value along with this boolean variable in one line so at that time what you need to do is you need to declare that variable separately in the next line so here let's say int age and similarly float marks you know like this so when you declare the variables of different types you, you need to do that in the separate lines so this is it guys this is how you guys can uh, create and use the variables in uh, java so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel you guys can watch all these tutorials in my web blog at uh, learningladeducation.blogspot.com and also i'm gonna put this source code in that blog so while watching this tutorial if you don't want to you know write all these things you guys can copy from there and uh, paste it and uh, i'll see you in the next tutorial